Today, I'm going to share with you my top 10 investments as a solo player in GTA Online. Coming in at number 10 is a great armored vehicle. Now, in my early days of grinding, it was the Duke of Death because it was free, but later on, I got the armored Karuma. Both are very useful for missions because they are almost completely bulletproof, which is pretty much all you have to worry about when doing PvE missions. Now, of course, they can't handle any explosives like RPGs, so they aren't going to be useful against other players in public lobbies but they really came in handy for me during the first and last dose missions but for heist setups everything in general they're very useful but of course out of the two of them the one i prefer the most is the armored karuma in the number nine spot we have the master control terminal you could purchase this after you get the arcade it comes as an upgrade for the business and it is essentially a large central control center the master control terminal allows you to access many different computers for many different businesses you can access a computer for the nightclub the bunker all of the mc businesses even the vehicle and special cargo warehouses and where it really comes in handy is when i'm trying to efficiently run all of my partially passive income businesses i could do it all from one location i don't have to go and travel to each individual business to buy supplies to increase my nightclub popularity this just makes everything a lot easier so it's really helped me in my passive income money grind and if you're a solo player or someone who likes to make money passively instead of having to go out and do heists and whatnot this would actually be a great purchase and keeping efficiency in mind in the number eight spot is personal quarters or accommodations for some of the businesses in the game you're not able to set them as a spawn location right away you actually have to purchase personal quarters or accommodations and once you do so you can then set them as a spawn location and what that allows you to do is as a solo player like i am I set those businesses as a spawn location and then I'm able to load into a new invite only session and essentially warp or teleport over there because they're now my new spawn point. Now while the benefit of having them is similar to having the master control terminal, what it does allow me to do is to spawn at my Kasaka or my agency and start up the big heist that I spend most of my time doing. Having them has saved me dozens of hours of just getting around from point A to point B in the game but speaking of transportation and getting around quickly number seven on the list is the oppressor mark ii now some people do hate the oppressor mark ii because it is the staple griefer vehicle but if you're someone like me who loves money grinding and then going out and buying cars and other stuff in the game the oppressor mark ii is a must have vehicle and it served me really well during my time playing. Now, for those who may not know, the Oppressor Mark II is essentially a rocket-powered bike. It is a flying bike. It's very fast, you could have missiles attached to it, and probably the best thing about it is the fact that it can maneuver just about anywhere. It could take really sharp turns, it could fit into tight spaces because it is a small vehicle, and taking off and landing is very quick. And while there are other great aircrafts in the game, like jets or helicopters, they're just a little bit more clunky because they are limited to where they could land and how they can maneuver through especially the city. Now the $8 million price tag may scare some people away, but if you have enough money, you might as well go for it. I purchased it when it was cheaper, but it is such an incredible vehicle. But speaking of aircrafts, in the number six spot, we have the hangar. And there's two reasons for it. The first is it's actually a great way to make money in the game. Recently, with the new update of the land source and sell missions you could make as a solo player up to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars per hour with the business which is incredible that puts it into the top five businesses in the game very easily but not only that the hangar itself allows you to store and customize your different aircrafts so all around the business is incredible i've made many millions with it and i really enjoy the ability to have so many different aircrafts in the game. Next up in the number five spot are two businesses that I really enjoy and also have ton of utility. The first is the auto shop. The auto shop allows you to do auto shop contracts and these contracts are essentially mini heists with two setups and a finale. They pay out anywhere between 150 to $300,000 and only take usually 20 to 30 minutes to do. So that alone sells me on the auto shop because I love heists in game. It's probably my favorite thing to do in the entire game. So having eight available to me is amazing. But not only that, with the auto shop, you also have the vehicle workshop. And with it, you're able to essentially customize your vehicles however you want. There is a price discount on the customizations, which is great. But 
unlike when you go to a Los Santos Customs, none of the customizations for your vehicles will be locked behind, let's say, completing stunt jumps or your level in game. They will all be unlocked, which is incredible. I'm a big car guy, so this was a must have, and I've got tons of value out of the auto shop for simply that alone. The other business I'm tying in here with the auto shop is similar to it, and that is the salvage yard. Now, there are a few different ways you can make money with it. So you can make money by salvaging vehicles. You can also make money through the wall safe. And then the final way is through the weekly robberies. Each week, there's going to be three random robberies chosen, and you're going to be stealing a vehicle, which you can sell for some money. Now, once again, they are very similar to heists. You have a few setup missions and a finale. And like I said, I love heists in game. And these ones are really fun. But not only that, there is a new mechanic that will be coming out here in the future where you're actually able to purchase the cars you steal during those robberies for a really discounted price. Now, we don't know when it's coming out, but when that comes out, that's going to be, I think, a similar kind of value provided by the business like the auto shop offers with all the customizations. Imagine pairing these up in the future where you go out, you do a robbery. It's a very fun heist. You then bring the car back, buy it for a discount, take it over to the auto shop and customize it for a discount as well. Just, I love it. It's incredible. These two are, have offered me so much value already by simply money alone. I've made millions and millions with the auto shop and millions with the salvage yard, but combining their two sort of special qualities together as well has made them two of the best purchases I've made in all of GT Online. Now, at this point, you could probably tell that I am a bit of a car guy. So it shouldn't surprise you that in the number four spot, I have the cars that I buy. Now, yes, they aren't a financial investment as in they're going to make me money in the game, but they are an investment in my enjoyment of the game. And I think it's important to remember that not everything is just about grinding out the money. It's about what you're going to spend that money on. So that is the number four spot. In the number three spot, we're going right back to the money because it is my passive income businesses. Now, early in the video, I did talk about a few different passive income businesses, but the two best in the game are the nightclub and the acid lab. And these have been by far two of the best investments I've made in the entire game. The acid lab can be acquired by completing the first dose mission storyline. Once it's done, you could buy it for 750k. And if you get the equipment upgrade for it, which is another 250k, you could make 100k per hour with the business and partially passive income. All you have to do is buy supplies and then once the asset lab is full sell the stock for a profit i have done that i don't know how many times since the asset lab came out but it is by far one of the easiest ways to make one hundred thousand dollars per hour it's such a low maintenance business and in order to get it you have to do some really fun storylines so that was a great investment and then the nightclub as well probably the best passive income business or partially passive income business in the game because nothing's really completely passive but that is because the nightclub one you can earn up to fifty thousand dollars through your nightclub wall safe if your popularity is maxed out and two you can earn up to fifty thousand dollars worth of product sourced in your nightclub warehouse if you have five technicians assigned to the right types of goods once again combined they earn me one hundred thousand dollars per hour in partially passive income and as i've said many times as someone who loves to do heists and missions in game having passive businesses making you more money in the background while you're doing those heists is a huge plus so these two have provided me tons of value over my time playing gt online but with that being said we're now going to move on to the number two spot on the list which is the agency I think this is the best all round business in the entire game, and that's because there are four ways to make money with it, along with other benefits you could get with the business. So we'll first talk about the money. The first way to make money is security contracts. They're simple contact missions where you'll earn anywhere between 30 to 60 K and they take about 10 minutes roughly to complete. But once you've completed one of them, you then unlock the VIP contract, which is the Dr. Dre contract. It pays out roughly 1.1 million for about an hour and a half to two hours of work. It's a ton of fun. It's like a large heist with three mini heists and two finale missions. I love doing it. I've done it many times, but that is not all because once you've completed three security contracts, you then unlock payphone hits and they are simple assassination missions where if you take out the target or targets and complete an assassination bonus, 
you will earn $45,000 and they can be done every 10 minutes. They only take about five minutes to complete, so they can be done multiple times an hour, making you tons of money in the process. And finally, the fourth way to make money with the business is with the wall safe. Every in-game day or 48 minutes, similar to the nightclub, a set amount of money will be deposited into the wall safe, which you could take for yourself at any point. But depending on how many security contracts you do, that amount can increase. So for every security contract you complete, an extra $100 will be added to the total that will be deposited into the agency wall safe every in-game day. It does cap out at $20,000, but it is a great additional way to make money. So those are four incredible ways to make money with the agency, which are crazy enough. But not only that, you also get a free helicopter with the business, which you can access by talking to your assistant on the main floor. You also, if you get the armory, can then get Mark II weapons and better weapons in the game. And if you purchase the additional vehicle workshop, you can then get a money tech for vehicles, which is stuff like adding armor plating on certain cars, getting the missile lock on jammer, which can be very helpful in public lobbies. So I have used all of these different things. I've used a helicopter when I was first starting out because I didn't have enough money to get my own helicopter. I've made many millions with all of the different ways to make money with the business. And I've used the armory for better weapons and used a money tech for vehicles. So all around, it provides so much value for us players. And that's why it's in the number two spot for me coming in at number one is likely not a surprise it is the kasaka submarine which allows you to do the kayo perico heist the heist is the single best way to make money in the entire game for solo players or for people in general because with about an hour's worth of work you could make one to all the way up to 1.5 1.6 million dollars it is crazy it's also a ton of fun to do and i've done it so many times that i can't even count I've probably made 150 to 200 million from the heist alone. But the heist isn't the only benefit of the Kasaka because you could also get the Sparrow helicopter, which can be stored in the back of the Kasaka. It makes the heist a lot faster because the setup missions can be done quicker, but the Sparrow itself is also a really good helicopter, has great homing missiles on it, and is very fast. Now, unfortunately, the Kyle Prequel heist does have a two and a half hour cooldown if you're doing it solo, but if you do get the Kasaka once again, on your secondary character you could then do it right after and that's something i've done for the past little while so this being in the number one spot isn't just the kasaka on my primary character but having it on both has by far been the best investment i've ever made because i could essentially make two to three million in just two hours time by going back and forth nothing in the game comes even close but when i think about it the agency and the kasaka has allowed me to buy everything else on this list. They're the reason why I was able to invest in every other business, buy cars, enjoy the game. These two businesses are by far the most important purchases I've ever made in GT Online. And so with that being said, this was my top five investments in GT Online as a solo player. Let me know in the comment section down below, what are your best investments that you've ever made? And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.